This is a story by Rabbi Naftali Rapshitz. About, about Rabbi, Rabbi Naftali Rapshitz was a very holy Jew. And every day, this was about 100, 100 years ago, <clears throat> in Poland, Rapshitz, I think it's from Poland. In any case, he was a very holy Hasidic Jew, devoted all the time to doing what God wants. And every day he would finish praying, he would come home, and he would uh, take a couple of pieces of bread, put it on a table uh, and a plate and something very meager to eat. And then he would go out and collect money for poor people. And the people would wait by his door and he would distribute the money and then he would sit down and eat his food. And he had regular houses that he would go to. It would take him about an hour, an hour and a half going and collecting money and we give to the poor people. One day he as usual, came home from prayer and he put the plate and the bread on the table and something to eat and he went out and collected money and he gave all of the money to the poor people that were waiting. There was 10, 15 families and as he was going to wash his hands for bread, suddenly he heard a <clears throat> someone clear their throat behind him. He turned around and he saw there was a poor man standing and he said, excuse me, but I just finished collecting money. He said, yes, I know. I was delayed because my wife wasn't feeling good and I had to take care of her, but that's okay. I'll come back tomorrow. And he said, no, 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 no. If you really need, I'll go again. So he went again to the families and as understood, they didn't give as much money as the first time. And even more, some of them were a little bit sort of bitter. And they said, Rabbi, you were just here. You know, we're just going to collect money all day. I thought you were supposed to be a holy person. You learn Torah, you do commandments. I see, all you do is just go around and collect money the whole time. You know, what? anyway, so he, he got some pretty, <clears throat> some harsh responses, but he was doing it for the help of another Jew, so he didn't care. So he went home and he gave the money to this uh, other family that was there. And uh, that's it. And he went to wash his hands. And suddenly he heard from the door a sort of a whimpering sound. <laughs> so he turned around and looked, and he saw there was a man standing there. And he said, yes, can I help you? And the man said, um, I know I came really late, but I just uh, I just wanted to, to have somebody to talk to and tell you my problems. So he said, okay, but you know, I, I'm, I haven't eaten anything yet today. And I already went out twice, usually I only go out once. I said, no, 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 I, I don't want to. I just want you to hear my, my story and I'll come back tomorrow because I have to tell it to somebody. <clears throat> I said, okay, what is he? He said, well, my wife is, uh, she's, she's got a condition where she, her life is in danger. And, uh, you know, I need money for that. And then I have a daughter that she's about to get married. And I don't have really any money. So there's no one that's, you know, it's really hard to find someone to do, want to marry her. And also, to top it all off, <clears throat> my whole house fell down yesterday. And, and so I just, you know, I'm just, okay, but thank you very much for listening to me. And I'll be, so Rabbi, the following Rocha said, the rabbi said, listen, you do not move from my door. I'm going to go and collect money a third time. And the third time he went around to the houses and the same people that yelled at him before saying, what are you doing? You're just going gathering all day. They knocked on the doors and they said, oh, Rabbi Naftali, you're coming again. I see after I yelled at you, you come for a third time. Now I see you're really a holy person. You don't care about yourself. You're just doing it for the others. And so it was with all the families. And he collected like twice as much money as he usually collected, even on the first time. People gave him much more money. And he came back and he gave it to this third person. And he said, okay, the money is yours. You can take it. I'm not going to take it back. I just want you to tell me the truth before I eat. You're lying, right? So the man said, lion, lion, rabbi. So they tell me, I mean, really the fact, your wife is really, as a condition that she's, her life is in danger. He says, yeah, my wife, she's pregnant. And a woman that's pregnant, and if she goes to give birth on Shabbat, so it's permissible to, you know, ignore the whole Shabbat and do because it says that her life is in danger. So, you know, and your daughter, she really is about to get married and you don't have any money. So, well, I mean, you know, she's only seven years old, but there's no sense in waiting until the last minute, you know. What I mean? And your house really fell down. <clears throat> Is it, well, I'm not I, the whole house fell down. I mean, uh, I, I found a couple of days ago, I found this rocking chair in the garbage, and it was really nice. I came home, I sat, and I really felt good. 
And today in the morning, I sat down, the whole thing just broke, and I can't fix it. It's just all smashed. So I feel it's like my house fell down. So the rabbi said, that's what I thought. So he said, tell me, rabbi. I said, but don't worry, I'm not going to take the money back. I give him the money. He said, but rabbi, how did you know that I wasn't, why do you think I wasn't telling the truth? How did you know? And the rabbi said, I'll tell you why. Because every time I go collecting money, it's always difficult. It's always hard. People, they give money, but they give very, very, very reluctantly, and it's very hard for them. And then the second time, I, today I went around twice, the second time people actually yelled at me. And they actually said bad things to me. They, they suspected me that it was. So, but this time, when I went around the third time today, I went around to collecting you, is it wasn't, it was easy. Everybody gave and they gave with an open hand and open heart. And I said to myself, listen, if this is so easy, there must be something wrong here. Always holy things always come with difficulties. This is too easy. I came back, I had an, an, an inkling that it must be that you were lying to me. And it seems that I was right. Because holy things always come with great effort. <clears throat> and not holy things, generally speaking, come easy. Like a thief. He's willing to put out tremendous energy, but he wants the money easy. Easy. So easy life is not necessarily a Jewish life. And Rabbi Naftali Rochas learned the hard way. Have a good day with Mashiach. Now I'll see you all tomorrow.